When it comes to the topic of professional vacuum and mop robots, the manufacturer Ecovax will be well known to many, but not when it comes to elaborate lawn care or mowing robots, at least until now. This year, Ecovax is ready to shake up the market with the newly developed GOAT G1 mowing robot. In addition to numerous mowing settings, a self-driving AI, a 360-degree camera, and more, it's one of the first mowing robots that does not require an annoying boundary wire. We'll take a brief look at what else the mowing robot has to offer and how it really performs in practice in today's test. For this reason, let's not waste any time and get started right after the intro. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new videos in the future. You can find the latest prices below in the video description. Thank you for your support and now let's get started. It's one of the first mowing robots that does not require the annoying installation of a boundary wire, has a systematic mowing pattern, and avoids obstacles using cameras and artificial intelligence. That sounds more than promising, but whether the new GOAT G1 from Ecovax really delivers on its promises, we'll find out today. In addition to the mowing robot, the product box contains a charging station, power supply, small accessories such as replacement blades, anchoring bolts, and the user manual. What we're looking for in vain in this case is the boundary wire, as it's not necessary for the GOAT G1, which is why we instead receive two navigation transmitters in the package. This means that everything necessary is included to let the mowing robot run, so let's take a look at the installation. There's a separate installation manual in multiple languages included in the package for this purpose. The manual itself is very clear, easy to understand, and adequately illustrated. The particularly positive thing about the GOAT G1, as already mentioned, is that we no longer need a boundary wire. This means that the initial installation is done within a very short time, even if we've not used a mowing robot before. First of all, we place the charging station at a freely selectable location on the lawn area. A minimum distance of 2 meters to the right and left as well as in front of the charging station should be maintained. Then, anchor the charging station in the ground with the included bolts, connect the power supply, and manually push the mowing robot into the charging station to fully charge it for the first time. Attention! Don't be scared! The mowing robot greets you warmly after starting up and explains all further steps via voice output. While the mowing robot is charging, it's possible to set it up already. For this purpose, the device has a corresponding control panel on the top. This is quite clear and guides the user through all the necessary steps. The next necessary step is to connect the mowing robot to the Ecovacs Home App, which is available for free in the Play and App Store. This is possible either using a Bluetooth or optional Wi-Fi connection. After scanning the QR code on the back of the lawnmower, the app automatically guides the user through the necessary steps. In my test, the connection worked smoothly, but it's important to ensure that the Wi-Fi network is enabled for new devices and has a 2.4 GHz channel, as this will avoid any issues. The next step involves the interesting-looking navigation transmitters, which need to be assembled beforehand. This means inserting the included LR20 batteries, connecting the two parts, and it's ready to go. However, the positioning of the masts is a bit more complicated. Since they have a large earth screw on the bottom, the transmitters can be easily anchored into the ground. However, it's important that the transmitters cover the entire area well as they ensure the smooth navigation of the lawnmower and have a range of up to 45 meters. Depending on the shape and type of property, the transmitters need to be placed differently, ideally overlapping each other. I admit that I had to try different positions before finding the optimal setting for my lawn. However, the user manual provides good guidance for finding the perfect position. Once the navigation transmitters are operational, we can bring the lawnmower to the area. Before the GOAT G1 can start mowing, it's necessary for it to learn the area and know where the boundaries and obstacles are. To do this, we simply follow the app's instructions and move the lawnmower along the edges of our lawn as precisely as possible, as if it were a remote-controlled car with a smartphone. 
Meanwhile, the GOAT G1 scans the traveled route with its integrated sensors and cameras and creates virtual boundaries on the map on the smartphone. In my experience, the entire process takes between 30 and a maximum of 60 minutes, depending on the complexity of the property, which is extremely positive. However, if you're like me and struggle a bit, you should plan for a good hour. Once the entire area has been covered and the lawnmower has arrived at the charging station, the goat begins to learn the area using its integrated sensors. At this point, you should simply give your lawnmower some time and let it navigate the area on its own. Once it's finished, it returns to the charging station and is ready for its first mowing job. At this point, the relatively short installation of the lawnmower is now complete, and we can take a look at how it really performs in practice with all its features. Starting with the build quality, the GOAT G1, as well as the other accessories, are undoubtedly very high quality. Regarding its size, it's comparable to conventional lawnmowers that use a boundary wire, with the GOAT weighing a proud 13.35 kilograms in total. The device is carried by two large drive wheels on the right and left, each with a diameter of 220 millimeters. From the test, I can say that the profile of the rear tires is sufficient to ensure free movement of the relatively heavy goat on the lawn without getting stuck. The two steering rollers on the front also provide more stability. However, as with any other lawnmower, one should ensure that the area does not have large holes or loose soil as any lawnmower will get stuck sooner or later in such conditions. For a good mowing result, the GOAT also has a centrally positioned blade holder with three blades, which has a cutting width of the usual 220 meters. The device is designed for a maximum of 1600 meters, which means for large gardens, but it requires multiple attempts with its approximately 96 watt hour battery. As a reference, one can assume an area of about 600 meters squared per day. But what makes the GOAT G1 unique is the navigation via GNSS, which means Global Navigation Satellite System, i.e. through satellites. For this purpose, the lawnmower has a flexible antenna at the rear, which can be folded for transportation. Additionally, the lawnmower is strictly dependent on the navigation transmitters that were installed previously. Two transmitters are included in the package, but up to eight more can be added as needed, depending on the area. In practice, I must admit that two transmitters are sufficient to cover large areas with ease. It just takes some trial and error to find the perfect position. According to the manufacturer's specifications, the runtime with the three LR20 batteries is at least one year before they need to be replaced, which is more than reasonable in my opinion. As long as the area is completely covered, the GOAT can navigate the entire area with incredible precision of a few centimeters. In theory, this works flawlessly, and in my experience, it works just as well in practice. The lawnmower continuously corrects its position using the navigation poles, allowing it to maintain a parallel path while mowing. As a result, I achieved very good results in terms of mowing precision during the test. The lawnmower leaves no patchy areas or places with long grass because it didn't mow there, as is often the case with random pattern mowers. The parallel pattern also provides a beautiful overall finish. Additionally, the device is surprisingly quiet with noise levels around 60 decibels. However, it's worth noting that the highly precise cut-to-edge function that we know from other lawnmowers is not available in this sense. The lawnmower can perform an edge cut, but this is strongly dependent on the predefined boundary in my experience, because if the lawnmower was not guided precisely along the edge during the creation of the virtual map, the results may not be optimal, as was initially the case with me. The only solution here is to remap. All important settings of the lawnmower, including this, are to be made through the Ecovax Home app. Regarding the app, I have to admit, I'm more than satisfied with the overall package. It's clear that Ecovax has already gained a lot of experience in this area with its intelligent vacuum robots, which has been incorporated into the GOAT. Therefore, in my opinion, the app is really well designed and clear. From here, the lawnmower can not only be started and controlled, but all settings can be made and an individual schedule can be created as well. After starting the lawnmower, a graphical representation of the map appears on the display, as well as the current position and progress of the lawnmower. This means that the app automatically calculates how long the goat will need for the remaining area and whether it may need to recharge. In addition, areas that have already been mowed are displayed in a lighter shade, making it clear which areas the lawnmower has already worked on and which it still needs to do. 
On the other hand, it's also possible to control the lawnmower with the integrated control panel, although the options are correspondingly reduced. For this purpose, there is a cover next to the large red stop button on the top of the GOAT G1, under which the most important controls and the LCD display are located. In my opinion, the control panel itself is well designed and the lawnmower can be operated and navigated through the menu using standard film buttons. However, using the smartphone is obviously much more convenient. By the way, after making any changes to the device, the GOAT confirms this with an acoustic signal, so accidentally changing something is impossible. Just below the control panel, there is a setting for the cutting depth, which can be adjusted from 30 to a maximum of 60 mm in 5 mm increments. This works smoothly but is nothing new in principle. Furthermore, located at the top, all the way back on the right, is the rain sensor, and opposite it is the previously mentioned antenna. It gets even more interesting when we look at the front because all the cameras and sensors of the lawnmower are located here. The GOAT G1 not only has a camera for obstacle detection based on AI, but also a so-called TOF sensor is included. These two sensors work together to reliably detect and avoid objects higher than 15 centimeters in practice. In testing, this worked really well with various test objects. Not to mention, there's also a 360-degree camera on the head of the machine, which is also used for navigation and map creation. At the same time, it can also be used as a surveillance camera as long as the lawnmower is connected to the network. To ensure that the GOAT G1 can easily rely on these features even after a long period of time to keep a clear overview, the charging station even has a cleaning mechanism where several brushes automatically clean the cameras and sensors before starting the lawnmower. It's just pure madness. So, let's get to the conclusion. It can be said that Ecovex has brought a lawnmower to the market with the new GOAT G1 that undoubtedly sets very high standards. The device not only looks good on paper, but can also play the available resources very well in practice. Last but not least, the highly accurate positioning via GNSS, the systematic mowing pattern, and the precise detection by the available sensors and integrated AI are extremely positive. So, if you want to dispense with the boundary wire in the future, save time and nerves, and at the same time have to navigate many obstacles on the lawn, the new GOAT G1 will undoubtedly pay off for you. And now, it's your turn. What do you think of the new intelligent GOAT G1 from Ecovax? Please feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so, to ensure that you don't miss any future videos. The latest prices of the lawnmower to support this channel can be found in the video description below. Thank you for your support and take care. I hope I'll see you next time. Goodbye.